one of the essential pieces that we have in somatics is the, uh, the importance of practice. Uh, when we, uh, we change, we develop, we transform through practices. Our soma, our body, if you will, is incapable of not practicing. If you listen to that double negative, incapable of not practicing, what that means is that we're always receiving input from the external world. We take that sensory input in, inside of a narrative of ethics, morals, and what, care, what we care about, we take that and we shape ourselves towards uh, uh, the best possible future we can think of, which has to do with safety, which has to do with connection, which has to do with the well-being of ourselves and the collective of people and communities that we live in. Uh, when people will often talk about, I don't have the time to practice or what, where I get that practice, number one, they need to think of this, no matter what you're already practicing. So if you're walking around with your shoulders up like this, or you're squeezing down on your jaw, or your eyes are open in a, a startle response, you're practicing being tense. You're practicing, practicing over-containing your energy, and that shape that you have, like will produce an assessment of others of here's a person who's afraid, not managing themselves, and I'm concerned about being around them. Do I want to follow them? No. So the critical thing here is that if you think of the state of the planet in terms of violence, in terms of the environment, in terms of the great spread between who has the resources and who doesn't and what that will result in, is that we need to make the time for practices. We work with companies who, uh, as they, they have dojos inside of their companies. Dojos is appropriated from the Japanese martial arts, which is appropriated from the Sanskrit bodhimanda, which means place of awakening. How incredible is that? Is human beings, ever since they've talked about what's important, one of the things they've talked about is a place that they can get together and to wake up, a place of awakening. Now, we learn specific skills. We learn accounting. We learn how to read spreadsheets. We learn how to analyze the future. We learn martial arts. We learn flower arranging. But inside of that, the individual can wake up and transform, and the collective can wake up and transform as well. And uh, there are companies that we work with that actually have dojos where their people will get together during breaks, before work, at lunch, or even after work, in which they do these somatic practices and affect very positively a triple bottom line, profits, people, and the environment. The fundamental practice is bringing the attention to the life of the body. As I said before, the life of the body means the sensation that you feel. What's the movement in the body? What's the temperature? Uh, what's the shape of the body, the shape of your sit bones on your chair, the shape of your hands together, how it's the shape of your jaw or your shoulders, the pattern of your breath, bringing your attention there. And then what you do is you practice aligning your energy field with the energy field of the planet. Um, what does that mean? It's very simple. The energy field of the planet is gravity. I am uh, mass in posture, and the, the more that I'm balanced along my length, my width, my depth, and I have a center that I move from, the more that I will be in contact uh, with the energy field of the planet and being able to act more effectively in the world. That's the fundamental thing that you want to do. Our programs, both for individuals and teams, our public programs, are four days long, five days long, and um, about three weeks long. These are transformative uh, programs that allow individuals, teams, and communities to transform so that they're more effective in uh, fulfilling on their commitments and the futures that they're declaring.